okay students so in this tutorial i'm going to give an example of the nonlinear transformation before that i had sold an example that uh, was related to the linear transformation okay so assuming that the transformation rule on a vector x is defined as x square plus x square while the y component is scaled as y plus 3 mind so this is the transformation rule on a vector x according to which the x component of the vector x will have the power of 2 while the y component okay will be incremented by a constant factor 3 fine so let's see how to check this given transformation is linear or not linear according to the linear transformation rule two properties are supposed to be satisfied the first property says transformation of u plus v for any two vectors is equal to the transformation of u plus transformation of v similarly the second property says that transformation of c times of u should be equal to c times the transformation of u okay so this is called the additivity and this is called the multiplication property and for any transformation to be a linear transformation these two properties must hold let's assume that two vectors so if i choose if u is equal to 1 2 and v is equal to 2 3 okay then we need to test this transformation rule is actually linear or not uh, we can do the same test for the general vectors so if you choose any vectors like u is having the components u1 u2 and v is having the component v1 v2 then again we can test this transformation okay but right now i will do by taking the selecting val uh, values of u and v because it's simple to understand all right so let's just apply the left hand side first the first rule says find the addition of u and v and then apply the transformation so first step is to take the addition or to add these two vectors so when i will add the corresponding components i will have 2 plus 1 3 while 3 plus 2 is 5 the next step says apply the transformation on this addition okay so according to which the x component will be squared so squared the x component it becomes 9 while the y component will be incremented by 3 so y becomes 8 why because 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 okay this is the left hand side we have evaluated now let's do for the right hand side it says first find the transformation of u according to the rule okay so u is equal to 1 2 so the square of 1 is 1 okay while the 2 will be incremented by 3 so it becomes 5 all right now the next step is to do what find the transformation of v which says that square the x component so the square of 2 is 4 while the y component will be incremented by 3 so it becomes 6 so 3 plus 3 is 6 the next step is to find their addition so transformation of u plus transformation of v should is equal to what let's just do that it's 1 5 while the other vector is 4 6 so when i will find the addition of these two transformation it becomes 5 and 11 so if we compare these two vectors like the left hand side which says the vector x component should be 9 and the y should be 8 while this is 5 and 11 so transformation of u plus v is not equal to the transformation of u plus transformation of v let me just write it down so transformation of u plus v is not equal to the transformation of u plus transformation of v so this is a, an example of the non-linear transformation And one thing you must always remember that since the first property which is the additivity property doesn't hold so that's why we don't need to test 
uh, either they are closed under multiplication or not because the first property is already negating that this transformation is actually not linear if you have more questions you can drop the questions in the comment section and also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching